Born on October 22, 1938, in Stamford, Connecticut, the actor, known for his unforgettable roles, began his journey in the world of film and television in the late 1950s. After studying at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City, the actor made his Broadway debut in Androcles and The Lion in 1962. The actor's career took off in the 1970s with notable roles in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Taxi, for which he won two Emmy Awards. However, it was his portrayal of the eccentric Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy that catapulted him to international stardom. His nuanced performance brought to life a character that continues to captivate audiences today. In addition to his work in film, the actor has also made a significant impact on television, lending his talents to shows such as The Addams Family, Road to Avonlea, and Modern Family. His body of work is a testament to his versatility and enduring appeal, spanning over six decades and encompassing a wide range of genres and mediums. Despite his numerous accolades and successes, the actor remains humble and dedicated to his craft. His contributions to the industry have left an indelible mark, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers to come. Christopher Lloyd is an accomplished actor, well known for his work in film and television. His unique style and unforgettable characters have set him apart from his contemporaries. You might recognize him from his role as Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future series, or as Jim Ignatowski in The Show Taxi. What makes Christopher Lloyd stand out from his peers? Is it his ability to play a wide range of characters, from the comedic to the dramatic? Or is it his memorable performances that have left a lasting impact on audiences? When was the first time you recognized Christopher Lloyd in a role? Was it his portrayal of the eccentric scientist in Back to the Future, or his role as a lovable yet troubled taxi driver? We would love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And stay tuned because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Christopher Lloyd's life and career. You won't want to miss it. Born on October 22, 1938, in Stamford, Connecticut, the actor Christopher Lloyd grew up in a family that encouraged creativity. His mother, Ruth Lapham Lloyd, was an actress and singer, while his father, Samuel Lloyd, was a lawyer. The actor's earliest exposure to the craft came from his mother, who often took him to the theater. As a child, the actor was often shy and found solace in the world of movies and theater. He attended the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City, where he studied under Sanford Meissner, a renowned acting teacher. Meissner's approach to acting, which emphasized emotional truth and spontaneity, had a profound influence on the actor's career. The actor's first big break came in the 1970s when he appeared in the Broadway production of Whose Life Is It Anyway? The show was a critical success, and the actor's performance caught the attention of film and television producers. In the early years of his career, the actor worked with some of the most influential directors and actors of the time. He appeared in films such as One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and The Addams Family, as well as television shows like Taxi and Back to the Future. Throughout his career, the actor has worked with a diverse range of talented individuals who have inspired and influenced him. He has often cited his collaborations with directors such as Milos Forman and Robert Zemeckis as key moments in his career. The actor's family has also played a significant role in his life and career. He has three siblings, including a brother who is also an actor. The actor's wife and children have been a constant source of support and inspiration, and he has often spoken about the importance of family in his life. In conclusion, the actor's upbringing, early exposure to the craft, and relationships with mentors and family members have all contributed to his successful career in the film and television industry. The actor, known for his diverse roles, has a filmography that spans over five decades. He first gained recognition for his work in the 1970s, uh, appearing in various TV shows and films. One of his earliest and most memorable roles was in the 1980 film The Blues Brothers, where he played a villainous Illinois Nazi leader. This film, a musical comedy, became a cult classic and helped establish the actor's career in Hollywood. However, it was his role as Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy that truly catapulted him to stardom. The first film in the series was released in 1985, and the subsequent two films were released in 1989 and 1990, respectively. 
These films remain some of the most popular and enduring films of the 1980s and, and the actor's portrayal of the eccentric scientist is still widely celebrated today. In addition to his work in Back to the Future, the actor also delivered a memorable performance in the 1991 film The Addams Family, where he played Uncle Fester. This film, a comedy horror, was a critical and commercial success, and the actor's performance was praised for its humor and charm. Another notable role for the actor was in the 1994 film Radioland Murders, where he played a radio station manager. This film, a comedy mystery, was well received by critics and audiences alike, and the actor's performance was once again highlighted as a standout. For those new to the actor's work, Back to the Future is an excellent starting point. The trilogy offers a perfect blend of comedy, adventure, and science fiction, and the actor's performance as Dr. Emmett Brown is both iconic and unforgettable. Another great film to watch is The Addams Family. This film is a fun and entertaining comedy horror that showcases the actor's comedic timing and versatility. Overall, the actor's filmography is a testament to his talent and longevity in the industry. With a wide range of roles and genres, there is something for everyone to enjoy. From a young age, the actor was drawn to the stage. He recalls watching a production of Oliver and being captivated by the energy and emotion of the performers. This sparked his interest in acting and he began participating in school plays. In high school, he landed the lead role in a production of The Importance of Being Earnest, which further fueled his passion for acting. He enjoyed the thrill of bringing a character to life and the connection he felt with the audience. During his time at college, he took an acting class on a whim and was immediately hooked. He found that acting provided an outlet for his creativity and a way to express himself. He decided to pursue acting as a career and moved to New York City to study at the Neighborhood Playhouse. Throughout his career, the actor has taken on a wide range of roles in both film and television, showcasing his versatility and talent. From playing the eccentric Dr. Emmett Brown in Back to the Future to the lovable Uncle Fester in The Addams Family, he has brought joy and entertainment to audiences around the world. Despite his success, the actor remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to challenge himself with new roles and is always looking for ways to grow and improve as an actor. After playing the salesman in The Postman Always Rings Twice, the actor, Christopher Lloyd, shared the screen with Angelica Houston in The Addams Family and Addams Family Values. Interestingly, Lloyd had previously worked with Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. In Star Trek III The Search for Spock, Lloyd portrayed Kruge alongside Miguel Ferrer. The year before, he had acted in To Be or Not To Be with Jose Ferrer, Miguel's father. Ten years later, the actor collaborated with his mother, Rosemary Clooney, in Radioland Murders. Delving into his earlier roles, Lloyd played Tofield in Going South, a film that also featured Jack Nicholson. The connections between these films and actors show the interconnected nature of the film industry and the versatility of Christopher Lloyd as an actor. His ability to seamlessly transition between roles and genres has left an indelible mark on the world of film. The characters he brings to life on screen continue to captivate audiences, making his work a cherished part of film history. The breadth and depth of his career is a testament to his enduring talent and the mark he has made on the industry. The stories and characters he has brought to life will continue to resonate for generations to come. Despite growing up during the Great Depression, the actor's passion for performing never wavered. As a child, the family frequently moved due to financial struggles, but this nomadic lifestyle allowed the actor to experience various communities and cultures. This exposure later enriched their acting abilities, enabling them to convincingly portray a wide range of characters. In the early days of the actor's career, they faced skepticism from industry professionals who questioned their unconventional appearance. Rather than conforming to the typical leading man mold, the actor embraced their uniqueness and used it to their advantage. They chose to focus on character roles, often stealing the show with their quirky and memorable performances. One notable challenge the actor faced was being typecast after their iconic role in a popular film. Instead of being pigeonholed, they actively sought out diverse roles, constantly challenging themselves, improving their versatility. By taking on various characters, the actor demonstrated their resilience and commitment to their craft. To further expand their skill set, the actor studied mime and improvisation, 
which help them develop a deep understanding of body language and physical comedy. These techniques set them apart from their peers and allow them to excel in both dramatic and comedic roles. Through determination, creativity, and adaptability, the actor overcame numerous obstacles on their journey to success. Their resilience and unwavering commitment to their craft continue to inspire aspiring performers today. In the film Going South, the actor played the role of Tofield. Interestingly, he and co-star Mary Steenburgen later appeared in Back to the Future Part 3 and Wish You Were Dead. While Crispin Glover, another cast member from the Back to the Future series, has reportedly seen the film only once, the actor has a different viewing habit. He mentioned that when he happens to come across a Back to the Future movie while channel surfing, he often sits and watches it. An awkward moment occurs in Back to the Future when Lorraine, played by Lee Thompson, follows Marty back to the actor's character's house. In this scene, she and the actor share a brief, somewhat uncomfortable dialogue, marking their only on-screen dialogue together despite having appeared in six films together. After years of honing his craft in regional theater and guest spots on television, the actor's breakthrough moment came in 1985 with his portrayal of Emmett Brown in Back to the Future. The film, directed by Robert Zemeckis, became a cultural phenomenon, and critics took notice of the actor's scene-stealing performance. Critic Roger Ebert praised the actor's delightful performance, noting his ability to balance the character's eccentricities with a grounded sense of humanity. Co-star Michael J. Fox, who played Marty McFly, recalled the actor's dedication to the role, often staying in character even offset. The film's success led to two sequels, cementing the actor's status as a household name and solidifying his place in film history. But it was his work in the first film that truly showcased his ability to bring depth and nuance to a seemingly eccentric character. In the following years, the actor continued to take on a variety of roles, from a lovable kook in Who Framed Roger Rabbit to a ruthless villain in The Addams Family. His ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles, as well as his commitment to his craft, earned him the respect and admiration of his peers and audiences alike. Despite his numerous accolades and iconic roles, the actor remains humble and dedicated to his craft. As he once said, I've always tried to find roles that challenge me and take me out of my comfort zone. That's what keeps me going as an actor. In the film Back to the Future, the actor portraying the role of Dr. Emmett Brown, known for his method acting, was unaware of his co-star Eric Stoltz's actual name. Stoltz was so deeply immersed in his character, Marty McFly, that he responded only to that name, leading the actor to inquire, who's Eric? Upon learning of Stoltz's replacement, Interestingly, the same year Back to the Future was released, 1985, the actor also starred in Clue, where he played Professor Plum. Both films were set in the mid-1950s, with locations bearing the word hill in their names and climactic events occurring during thunderstorms. Clue took place at Hill House, while Back to the Future occurred in Hill Valley. Delving into the actor's personal life, he has a younger brother, Sam Lloyd Assar, with whom he shares a familial bond. The actor's career has been marked by notable performances and a commitment to his craft as demonstrated by his ability to fully embody his characters on set. The actor, known for his unforgettable roles, has always brought a unique energy to his work. He once mentioned that he approaches each role with a sense of curiosity and a desire to explore the character's humanity. This is reflected in his ability to portray a wide range of characters from the lovable Emmett Brown in Back to the Future to the eccentric Professor Farnsworth in Futurama. His personal experiences and worldview often find their way into his work. For instance, the actor has been open about his struggles with anxiety and how he uses his craft as a form of therapy. This vulnerability and honesty add depth to his performances, making them more relatable and impactful. In his creative process, the actor values collaboration and is always open to input from his colleagues. He has said that some of his best ideas come from brainstorming sessions with directors, writers, and other actors. This collaborative spirit is evident in the seamless ensemble work in Who Framed Roger Rabbit and The Addams Family. The actor's approach to his work is unique in its simplicity and authenticity. He once stated, I don't try to act. I just try to be. This philosophy allows him to fully embody his characters and create memorable performances that resonate with audiences. His work is a testament to the power of authenticity and the beauty of the human experience. 
after graduating from Staples High School in Westport, Connecticut in 1958. The actor Christopher Lloyd gained fame for his role as Dr. Emmett Brown in the Back to the Future trilogy. Not many people know that the only scene which appears in all three films is that of Doc sliding down from the clock tower on a cable before the clock is struck by lightning. This daring stunt was performed by a stuntman named Bob Yerkes, who doubled for Christopher Lloyd. Interestingly, Yerkes received extra payment for his work in Parks Roman 2 and 3 without having to do any additional stunts. In the film Clue, the actor showcased his versatility by playing the role of Professor Plum. He shared the screen with Colleen Camp, who played the character of Mistress White. Coincidentally, the two actors had previously worked together in Walk Like a Man in 1987 and The Right to Remain Silent in 1996. Christopher Lloyd's career in the film industry has spanned over five decades, and he has left an indelible mark on his fans with his exceptional acting skills. His roles in various films and TV shows have been memorable, and he continues to inspire aspiring actors with his dedication and passion for his craft. Christopher Lloyd's impact and influence on the film and television industry are significant. Known for his unforgettable roles in Back to the Future, The Addams Family, and Taxi, the actor has left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. According to film critic Peter Travers, Christopher Lloyd has a rare ability to fully embody a character, making them both memorable and relatable. This is evident in his portrayal of Doc Brown in Back to the Future, a role that required a perfect blend of eccentricity and warmth. Lloyd's contributions extend beyond his on-screen performances. He has been a vocal advocate for mental health awareness and has used his platform to raise awareness about important social issues. Director Robert Zemeckis, who worked with Lloyd on Back to the Future, said, Christopher's ability to tap into the emotional depth of a character is truly remarkable. He has a unique talent for making even the most outrageous characters feel real and relatable. Lloyd's influence can also be seen in the trends and techniques used in modern storytelling. His ability to seamlessly blend comedy and drama has inspired a generation of writers and filmmakers to take risks and push boundaries in their storytelling. Actor Michael J. Fox, who starred alongside Lloyd in Back to the Future, said, Christopher's impact on the industry is immeasurable. He has inspired so many of us to take risks and to approach our work with a sense of play and creativity. In addition to his work in film and television, Lloyd has also made significant contributions to the theater community. His performances in productions such as Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and The Seagull have earned him critical acclaim and the admiration of his peers. Playwright Edward Albee, who wrote Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, said, Christopher Lloyd's ability to bring a character to life on stage is truly extraordinary. He has a rare talent for finding the truth in every line and making it resonate with audiences. In conclusion, Christopher Lloyd's impact and influence on the film, television, and theater industries are undeniable. His contributions as an actor, advocate, and artist have left a lasting impact on audiences and industry professionals alike. Throughout his career, the actor has shared the screen with notable stars like Danny DeVito and Mary Steamer General. They worked together in the films One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Going South, and Man on the Moon. The actor and Steenburgen also appeared in Back to the Future Part 3 and Wish You Were Dead. His education includes time at the Fessenden School and the Darrow School, joining the ranks of other distinguished alumni. These experiences have contributed to his growth both as an actor and an individual, allowing him to bring unique characters to life on the big screen. The actor, known for his role in Back to the Future, has always been passionate about the arts. Growing up, he was inspired by classic films and theater, which led him to pursue a career in acting. However, his interests extend beyond the stage and screen. Lloyd has a deep appreciation for nature and the outdoors. He enjoys hiking and spending time in natural settings, which he believes helps to clear his mind and recharge his creativity. This love for nature is reflected in some of his work, including his role in The Addams Family, where he portrayed a character with a unique connection to the natural world. In addition to his passion for the arts and nature, the actor is also deeply committed to philanthropy. He has been involved in various charitable organizations throughout his career, with a particular focus on environmental conservation and education. He has worked with groups such as the Natural Resources Defense Council 
and the Environmental Media Association to promote sustainable practices and protect natural resources. Furthermore, the actor is a strong advocate for arts education. He believes that exposure to the arts can have a transformative impact on young people, helping them to develop critical thinking skills, creativity, and empathy. He has supported various arts education programs throughout his career, including those that provide access to the arts for underserved communities. In conclusion, while the actor is best known for his work in film and television, his personal values and interests extend far beyond the stage and screen. From his love of nature and the arts to his commitment to philanthropy and education, he is a multifaceted individual who uses his platform to make a positive impact on the world. In the film Clue, the actor portraying Professor Plum, known for his hypothesizing that the brandy was poisoned, may have been onto something. Poison was, in fact, a weapon included in the original Clue in Cluedo board games and reintroduced in the 1990s game Clue Master Detective. The actor, who also played Tabor in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, was part of an impressive cast of debuting actors. This film marked the first appearances of Brad Dowriff, Christopher Lloyd, and Will Sampson, as well as notable figures like Tom McCall, former governor of Oregon, and Dr. Dean R. Brooks, superintendent of the Oregon State Hospital in Salem, the film's primary shooting location. Interestingly, two of the actors in Clue also appeared in a Stephen King made-for-TV miniseries. Tim Curry played Pennywise in it, while the actor portraying Professor Plum starred in Quicksilver Highway. The versatility of the actor, who has made significant contributions to the film and television industry, is evident in his ability to embody various characters and adapt to different genres. His impact has transcended the realm of entertainment, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and resonating in the annals of history. Christopher Lloyd, known for his unforgettable roles in Back to the Future, and the Adams Family has left an indelible mark in the film industry. His ability to embody diverse characters has solidified his status as a legendary actor. Throughout his career, the actor has seamlessly transitioned between comedy and drama, captivating audiences with his unique style. His contributions to the industry continue to resonate, inspiring aspiring professionals to step into the world of acting. When asked about his advice for those pursuing a career in acting, the actor emphasized the importance of perseverance and passion. Never give up on your dreams, he said. The road may be challenging, but if you truly love what you do, it will be worth it. He also highlighted the significance of continuous learning and growth. Always be open to new experiences and opportunities. The more you put yourself out there, the more you will learn and grow as an actor. Moreover, the actor stressed the value of authenticity and staying true to oneself. Don't try to be someone you're not. Embrace your unique qualities and use them to bring your characters to life. As the actor looks to the future, he hopes to continue contributing to the industry by taking on new and exciting roles. I'm always looking for new challenges and opportunities to grow as an actor. I hope to continue working in this amazing industry for many years to come. In conclusion, Christopher Lloyd's legacy in the film industry is a testament to his talent, passion, and dedication. His advice for aspiring actors serves as a reminder that success in this field requires hard work, perseverance, and a commitment to continuous learning and growth. As one of the most beloved actors in the industry, this individual has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. With a career spanning several decades, they brought to life some of the most memorable characters on both the big and small screens. From their iconic role in Back to the Future to their work on The Addams Family, their talent and versatility have consistently shown through. They've shown their range as an actor in dramas like Who Framed Roger Rabbit and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, leaving audiences in awe of their ability to fully embody each character. Their contributions to the film industry are countless, and their legacy will undoubtedly live on for generations to come. Whether you've been a fan of their work for years or are just discovering their talent, there's no denying the impact they've had on the entertainment landscape. So, what do you think about this actor's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know which of their roles has resonated with you the most. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family to celebrate the creative spirits shaping entertainment.